There we go, third gear. Ooh, this car actually handles so nice. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. So we are staring down that 2008 Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR and that Oracle lighting Dean Carney livery v10 powered 1020 horsepower with a supercharger on it centrifugal supercharger because last one of the last videos i posted i got a challenge from a subscriber from alpaca the boss saying can you handle the power on a v10 viper so uh we're here today to uh get this thing sideways i have also built a another 2016 Dodge Viper ACR set for drift as well. So we're going to see how well this works. We're going to start off drifting the ACR and then 2008 we'll probably do a little Maple Valley test and probably head over to Long Beach and see if we can't run some FD lines in it and then we'll switch over to 2016. So both these cars are pushing over a thousand horsepower, probably the highest amount of horsepower that I have ever done in one of these drift car builds. So uh you know, I got challenged to see if I can handle one of these things and handle the power. So uh, that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to go into single player free mode. And then we're going to hop into Maple Valley. So, like I said, this car is centrifugal supercharged, fully tuned V10. Um, running full, you know, all mods, full race suspension and everything on those lines. I don't have sway bars in it. It's uh, set pretty soft. Um, and we're going to see how this goes. Uh, didn't really have too much practice with this car, so this is kind of going to be a uh, test in itself. So we're going to get the wheel cam turned on here, and we're going to start the race and uh, see how this goes. Got our handbrake all set up. Dean Kearney on the side of the door. Oracle Lighting's Viper. Maple Valley. This is only a three-minute little test. I forgot to change it, but we're going to enter in, kick it sideways, sparks flying already. It's actually a really bad entry, but able to somewhat save that. This car handles so nice right now. Kicking it in. 1,000 horsepower Viper. I think the downforce of the rear wing is definitely helping. So, two alpaca the boss can i handle a v10 viper can i handle the power uh yeah i can this car is definitely a lot of fun to drive i'm gonna throw the tune up before the end of this episode if you guys want to give it a shot throwing sparks with that soft suspension setup though here we go third gear Ooh, this car actually handles so nice i'm actually very impressed with how this car handles except for when i do that but this car definitely is a monster, 1,000 horsepower monster here on Forza 7. Uh, it makes me wish that I could use this car in ESDA, but this car is restricted and banned from ESDA. I am not allowed to use any of these ACR Vipers from the list that I saw. I am working on a secret project on an ESDA car that I found is allowed, but... Uh, too bad this car's not allowed because this thing is actually very stable. I mean, very minimal corrections to that section. I mean, it's just, it's just so nice. Ooh. Save that. There we go. This thing just drives so nice. I'm actually very impressed with it. I'm wondering if it has to do with the downforce of the rear wing um, that is allowing me to be that stable on the high-speed turns and uh, if it is I think I may have to put a nasty wing on my car for ESDA for sure oh, uh, well there goes my wing so there goes all the downforce so let's see what it does I kicked that in way too early but you can see how soft this suspension setup is throwing sparks but look at this it's so stable very minimal corrections on the wheel matted playing with the gas a little bit to keep that but I mean a thousand horsepower v10 
I think I'm running 355s or 305s in the rear. Some really wide, sticky sport tires because this car is on sports. So this car definitely handles a lot better than I thought it was going to. So uh, for the V10 monster that it is, I think I got to handle this car pretty well. So we're going to switch it up. We're probably going to head to Long Beach now, try running that FD section, and um, see how we can uh, handle this in a Long Beach FD scenario. Like I said, I wish I could run this car in ESDA, but unfortunately, it won't let me because it is a banned car. But I am working on another car that I will be possibly debuting on the channel before ESDA, ESDA, or maybe I'll keep it a secret until I actually get a chance to run ESDA once they announce all the events. So we're going to go into race settings. We're going to go to, we're going to change this from drift to just circuit. Sure, three laps, day, zero, five laps, streets of Long Beach, because we're going to flip it around and go right to the FD section and see what we can do with this Dean Carney Viper and then we'll probably switch to 2016 ACR Viper V10 supercharged not centrifugal supercharged that one is supercharged that one is pushing 1100 horsepower so with that being said we are definitely ready to send this Viper here at Long Beach Oracle lighting on the side. Definitely a pretty cool livery. Can't take uh, can't, can't, can't take credit for it because I did not make it. We're going to flip this car around. And uh, head up to the start of the Long Beach section. Definitely don't know how this is going to handle in the Long Beach section, but because that wing definitely helps me on the higher speed but is it gonna help me here in the Long Beach FD section we're gonna find out cuz uh, I know it can handle very well on high speed sections we're gonna see how it handles on this section kind of medium speed to low speed at the end flip this around so Oracle lighting V10 supercharged thousand horsepower here at Long Beach let's see if we can handle it Probably be a third gear. I probably entered it way too late. I knew that was gonna happen. And then of course that wall messes with me when it disappears. I should have entered in a little bit earlier. Definitely just throw in sparks with how soft I have this car set. Oh man, it, it rocks like Von Gittin Jr.'s Mustang. I don't think this went three wheels, but all right, we're gonna try this again, here we go. Spark in, enter in, oh, uh, that was bad. So we lost our really big wing, but other than that, this car does handle pretty well. So even though the wing's gone, I think we still have our, uh, our downforce. So we're gonna give us another rip. I do like how this car handles. I really wish I was allowed to use this in ESDA, but I think they may ban it because of the fact of how wide the tires are. And this thing, I mean, just look at that. If I could use this, this would be sweet. Definitely gonna be using this in some online sessions. Gonna be getting some tandems with this car because uh, I definitely enjoy how this car drives. I will throw the tune up, like I said, before the end of this episode so that you guys can try it if you guys want. Um, it is set very soft with no sway bars on sport tires, so. There we go. Just a tap. I'm okay with that little bit of a tap. Oh, right on that wall. And I honestly think that probably was my best Long Beach run I've had since I've tried it. That was sick. This Viper, yup. 10 out of 10, definitely love this car. So, big thank you to Alpaca the Boss for challenging me to try running one of these cars because uh, I think I may have found my new uh, 
fun drift car here. So we're gonna run this one more time and then we'll probably switch up cars, try that other ACR here at Long Beach as well. This thing just sounds nasty and I'm flicking my wing up against the wall. So it wasn't a perfectly clean run with a tap on the entry, but definitely was a lot better than some of the other runs I've ever made here at Long Beach. With uh, Long Beach only a few weeks away, definitely the hype of FD with everybody posting their new liveries and everything on Instagram is definitely awesome. And it's in, there we go. It's a little better of an entry. Wish I could have got further out to the wall, but... Oh. <laughs> I keep wanting to get so close to these walls. And I keep uh, screwing myself on that. All right, so we're gonna switch it up to the other ACR. This car is definitely a lot of fun to drive. We're gonna be having a lot of fun with this, throwing this car online. Um, gonna be trying some online sessions with this car in the future for sure. So we're gonna switch to the other ACR that I have built. This car is <laughs> 1,109 horsepower, pretty much just a, a tad more powerful than the other one. So we're gonna switch this one. This one is set tuned style, pretty similar to the other one. Uh, it just has a different supercharger on it. Still a V10 though. Sit with a really big nasty wing on the back. I'm gonna flip this car around. This as well is on sports tires. Oof. And it is set soft as well, but I don't think it's as soft as the other one I was running. Don't lose my wing already. I thought I was going to break my wing off already. So, definitely getting a lot better here on the Long Beach Circuit. Definitely want to get more practice with this, with the car that I am probably going to be running in ESDA. Going to be getting some of my friends online, going to be getting some tandem practices and such, uh, as well as probably tandeming with some of the other people that I know will be competing in ESDA to, uh, you know, get some more practice in a tandem, of course. So, uh, ACR. 2016 let's do it just roasting the tires this one's gonna be a third gear as well enter in just a tap I always go too far in there but and I'm gonna go too far there Ugh! so this one obviously is just as close as the other one but I think before we end this episode off, we'll have to take this car to uh, Maple Valley and get a good run on it, see how many points we can get with this ACR car at Maple Valley. Because uh, these Vipers definitely are monsters, 1,000 some horsepower. It's definitely an insane car, but a lot of fun to drive. Little short entry once again. Ah, oh, I want to get a good run with this car. We can give it one more shot. I have to get a good run. We broke our tail light on that wall. I think I just need to initiate sooner, but then I feel like I'm gonna cut that turn too short. So we're gonna try initiating a little bit sooner. One last try here. Here we go. Initiate a little bit sooner. There we go. Okay, that's better. Out to the touch and go. Out to that wall. Should have gotten a lot deeper to that wall, but we're going to finish this run off. I didn't cut into the wall like I always do. A pretty decent run. Probably not a very good qualifying run here at Long Beach, but definitely a lot of fun. So I think we're going to switch this over to Maple Valley real quick and try and get some uh, pretty solid drift runs at Maple Valley. We'll do a five minute drift session at uh, Maple Valley Full and uh, see how this goes. So if you guys wanna see more drift builds like this or challenges like this, just make sure you guys you know, comment down below, tap the like button, subscribe if you have not already done so. I do appreciate all the support, definitely appreciate the sport going on here soon into ESDA looking forward to hopefully competing in a full ESDA season depending on time so hopefully we'll be able to get that and do it 
So we're going to take this ACR 2016 Viper here at Maple Valley. We're going to send it here and uh, see what type of drift totals we can get. See how we can get this thing to handle. Not messing with the tune, but like I said, I will throw this tune, the tune for the other one up before the end of this episode. There we go. Entering late, but the car has the power to hold itself and the angle. This one not as stable, I don't think, as the other one I built, but definitely gets the points for sure. I mean, we're gonna clack, you know, 18 large on that first section. I mean, probably other people are doing a lot better, but not a bad points total. And that was nice. There we go. No, don't lose it. Don't lose that points now. We're gonna stay in fourth. I was gonna shift to third, but then I realized this thing has the power to just blast the tires off in fourth with over a thousand horsepower. Supercharged V10 under the hood of this thing. Would hold 19 large there. Ooh. Right on the grass. We're gonna hold this. A little clutch kick. No. Oh, that change of. Oh, that change of the. You know, little unsettling over that bump kind of screwed with me, but we're good. We'll keep it going. We'll finish this off. There we go. So much power. And I just threw it way too much so i think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on forza motorsports 7 we're gonna finish off this last three minutes but like i said guys you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below uh if you guys want to have other cars that you want to challenge me to drift or maybe a tune that you want me to try just let me know down in the comment section down below if you are doing a tune you want me to try make sure you comment your gamer tag as well as the car and the tune so that i know where to find it now I'm just getting all kinds of screwed up throw this in there a faint initiation Not too much angle but like I said I think the other one handles a little bit better than this one so I will be throwing that tune up before the end of this episode we go we'll be trying some new games here on the channel very shortly we'll be doing a live stream tonight on the channel so if you guys want to come and you know chill and hang out in the live stream tonight on the channel I will be on I'm not sure if I'll be playing Forza 7 or if I will be playing Horizon 3 but definitely uh, looking to get sideways with some subscribers here to the channel so if you guys want to be part of that live stream make sure you guys come back to the channel tonight We'll be doing live stream in 1080p as well with the new Elgato system and everything that I got going. I knew we were going to lose those. So let's uh, go put that tune up for you guys before I forget for the other car. And we will end the episode off here. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7. Doing a little subscriber challenge drift here in the V10 powered ACR Vipers. Definitely was fun. I mean, not going to lie. The cars are pretty powerful and uh, a bit difficult to drive. But, you know, I got to handle it. I hate how it doesn't show my livery all the time. So we're going to go into tunings. Go to tune. Then we're going to go to setup manager. Save and share. 1,000 horsepower ACR. And we're going to just name it EVL Drifts. And uh, we're going to save that here, and we're going to share it as well with that. So if you guys want to give this tune a try, definitely give it a shot. See what you guys think about the tune. Let me know if you guys like it or you don't like it. 
let me know down in the comments section down below description evl drift as well so that's definitely going to do it here for this episode here on forza motorsport 7 once again i like to thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit and i'm out <laughs>